Hindustan Aeronautics is all set to deliver the 5th Tejas trainer to the Indian Air Force before 31st March. Satellite imagery reveals promising progress in the development of DRDO's twin test cell, which will be ready by October 2025 for testing future jet engines exceeding 130 kN thrust and featuring advanced thrust vectored nozzles. Israel Aerospace Industries has opened its Indian subsidiary Aerospace Services India in New Delhi, with plans to set up a large maintenance repair and overhaul facility, for the maintenance and repair of MR SAMs initially. The Ministry of External Affairs has said, that China may repeat its baseless and absurd claims on Arunachal Pradesh as many times as they want, but that will not change the position. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has signed a contract with Cochin Shipyard, for the supply of six sets of LM2500 gas turbines and associated auxiliary spares and tools for Indian Navy's next-generation missile vessel project. The Department of Defense Production has issued a notification for reorganization of Directorate General of Quality Assurance, which is aimed at speeding up quality assurance processes and trials, and reducing layers of decision-making. Astra Microwave has bagged its single largest domestic contract from Bharat Electronics Limited, for the supply of subsystems of medium power radar at a cost of 386 crore rupees. China plans to develop a 2,000 km range vehicle-mounted mobile hypersonic solid-fueled surface-to-air missile that could intercept wax and long-range bombers. Images of the first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft reveals numerous quick access panels adorning the underside of the fuselage that prioritizes ease of maintenance, allowing for quicker access to critical components during ground checks and repairs. The previous flat wing trailing edge of Tejas Mark 1 has also been replaced with a sleek tapered design in the Mark 1A, along with a new teardrop canopy, a UHF antenna on the chin and three-door auxiliary air intake, instead of the single door on the Tejas Mark 1. The forward radar warning receiver has been placed on the wings, which was on the vertical stabilizers in the Mark 1 variant. With the BNET AR modular multiband software-defined radio installed, the Tejas Mark 1A is now capable of using radar lock-ons by Su-30 aircraft for air-to-air -air kills. The Indian Air Force has set its sights to procure a fleet of 250 Loyal Wingman aircraft, that is designed to fly alongside manned fighter jets, to perform a diverse range of tasks, such as gathering intelligence, deploying jamming technology to disrupt enemy communications, and acting as communication relays to extend the operational reach of manned aircraft, and can engage targets autonomously or under the command of the manned fighter pilot. Halland New Space built scaled-down prototype is already undergoing testing, and a full-scale version is anticipated within the next two years for further comprehensive testing and refinement, and they are expected to be deployed by 2028. After successful test firing of its first indigenously made 1,500 horsepower engine for main battle tanks by engine division of Bharat Earth Movers Limited, industry sources have said, the generation 2 iteration of this engine will be used for crucial trials on older Arjun tank prototypes starting in mid-2025. BEML is likely to equip two Arjun tank prototypes with the 1,500 horsepower engines for mobility trials, under which engine's performance will be tested under various operational conditions in diverse environments, altitudes and temperatures for a total distance of nearly 50,000 km, and these trials are planned for completion by mid-2026. Today's Top 3 Comments